Hello, everyone. Um, uh, so my name is Monika Oczkowska. Uh, today I would like to present you uh, briefly uh, our paper that uh, we are preparing together with uh, Michał, who is present here, and Kajdan Trzciński, who is unfortunately uh, only online, um, uh, both uh, from Center for Economic Analysis. Uh, hopefully we'll get the slides that uh, Briefly, um, so uh, I'm going to talk about the, the social context uh, and how important the social context and also uh, the perceptions are um, for the incidence uh, of gender based differential treatment. <clears throat> okay, and yes, thank you. Um, yes, here I know, but um, okay, um, yes. Um, I will try to be quick in order to, uh, to save some time for, for the discussion after, after, uh, the, uh, after Maria's uh, paper. Um, so let me start with uh, general information on, on what, we, what kind of data we have um, in terms of prevalence of intimate partner violence. Uh, there are two uh, main databases uh, that cover most of the countries. Uh, one is the UN uh, women and the other one is WHO. Um, here uh, in this graph, the countries uh, are similarly to yes, yes presentation. Um, they are ranked based on the gender inequality index. Um, it's only the ranking, so uh, the distance between the countries would be different if we took uh, the exact values of, of, uh, of the index. Um, what is important here is that these databases, even though they do uh, give us a lot of information, they are not perfect. First of all, they miss uh, some countries like uh, Russia is not present in uh, neither of them. Uh, only WHO reports uh, information on Belarus. Uh, but also this information is based on different surveys. They cover different years, different populations. They ask different questions. Um, the reference period for experiencing uh, IPV is also different in different countries. Um, and uh, there is one another thing that I, I would like to mention, especially with respect to uh, this froggy survey that we uh, conducted. Uh, within our network is that uh, both these uh, databases are based on questions asked, asked directly to women, whether they were victims of uh, intimate partner violence. And we do know uh, there's uh, a lot of underreporting there uh, because of the nature of those questions. Um, so, um, uh, so, uh, as we know, uh, the questions on uh, experiencing IPV, uh, since they are delicate and uh, there is uh, the, the reprisal is possible, uh, there is a lot of li literature here, just one uh, example mentioned, uh, that actually uh, advises to use indirect measures so uh, reporting whether you witnessed uh, that uh, abuse happened to other women. Uh, and this is ac actually uh, how we, we phrase the questions in, in the Froggy survey. And as you can see, um, uh, please disregard uh, maybe the levels of uh, IPV reported here. Uh, within the, the same countries, uh, because this is not that important here. The important thing is the trend. So as we go with the inequality, the higher the inequality, uh, the higher the incidence of uh, abuse uh, for the froggy survey, which is uh, uh, completely different for, for the other two databases. Um, however, here I'm talking about abuse, physical abuse. Uh, so as, as you saw in, in Michal's slides, uh, the abuse uh, uh, that was, uh, that the incidence of reporting was quite consistent between the countries. Uh, as we do know, uh, 
there was we had another uh, question in the survey um, that actually looked at more discrete forms of abuse, uh, those uh, more culturally uh, uh, subjective uh, discriminating behaviors, uh, so the, the gender-based differential treatment. And uh, this is actually, uh, we can see that the higher the inequality, uh, the lower the incidence of, of these forms of differential treatment. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so in this paper, uh, what we would like to look at and, and conduct some analysis is actually trying to adjust the, the levels of differential treatment uh, that were reported uh, by, by doing two, uh, two kind of simple exercises. Um, so we are actually using uh, the reweighting met method, multivariate uh, reweighting. Uh, and we are uh, taking Sweden as a uh, comparison country, a reference country, uh, from which we first uh, take social conditions, um, and then we take cultural norms, uh, we reweight the samples of, of the other countries in order to see whether the level of differential treatment uh, changes or not. So actually, the, the basic question here is, if people in the other countries lived under the same uh, social conditions, uh, so they had the same level of educational attainment, uh, the same level of employment, uh, the same level of crime in the area, uh, whether they would report uh, more different, more incidents of differential treatment. And the next level of the analysis, um, if the cultural norms in these countries were the same as in Sweden, uh, cultural norms uh, understood here as what is perceived as abuse, uh, if abusive behavior is ever justified, and the gender norms. On well, the gender norms, I'll, I'll talk about. Uh, I'll talk about them a little bit more uh, in a second. So whether uh, uh, changing those gender norms, reweighting. Uh, by, by the cultural norms uh, changes the, the incidence of uh, differential treatment. Um, <clears throat> so as uh, physical abuse, uh, we, we look at uh, two out of uh, these five uh, situations uh, of abuse. Um, differential treatment is understood here as witnessing uh, two out of three situations when uh, another woman, uh, was uh, called names or insulted for being a woman, being the target of jokes of sexual nature, and received unwanted um, And uh, uh, actually building on Yasia's uh, presentation, we do know uh, the social conditions that correlate with, uh, with uh, she looked at perceptions, uh, but the same ones correlate with differential treatment and physical abuse. Um, here are the results of a regression where we put in all the countries and we look at uh, what is uh, significantly correlated with, uh, with both uh, uh, differential treatment and uh, physical abuse. Uh, we also run this regression separately by country. Uh, we can see that there are differences between the countries. Uh, in our analysis, we use just the social conditions that uh, were significant in all the countries. And we, uh, we actually use them for, uh, for reweighting. Um, so we start with the incidence uh, of differential treatment uh, separately for uh, men and women. Uh, for, uh, for selected countries. Uh, Sweden, uh, again, as I said, uh, <clears throat> the reference country, and then uh, three out of uh, the other seven uh, countries, Armenia, Belarus, and uh, Alaska, in order to just show you what do the, the different weights do with the incidence of uh, differential treatment. Uh, first of all, uh, we uh, reweight the samples to be balanced with uh, Sweden in terms of uh, socioeconomic conditions. And as you can see in all the countries, uh, the incident goes up 
uh, incidence of uh, differential treatment goes up, uh, except for Latvia. Uh, here we do not see much change, neither for men nor for women. Um, one important, of course, note here is uh, something already mentioned, uh, is that uh, women in all the countries were more likely uh, to, to report witnessing differential treatment to women. So uh, it just tells us that women are uh, more aware of, of such situ situations. Um, so this is the first level of the analysis. Uh, the second one are the uh the the cultural norms uh that we uh, we take from the froggy survey um so first of all uh which types of abusive behavior respondents identify as abuse uh 14 situations yes i meant 15 there were 15 uh instances we do not take quarrels here because uh, actually almost no one considered quarrels as uh, abusive behaviors um, then we have physical, uh, uh, whether physical abuse is uh, ever justifiable in those five situations. And um, we take gender norms, so um, the attitude toward gender roles in the society. Um, if respondents strongly agreed or agreed with any of the statements, a job is all right, but what most women really want is home and children. When jobs are scarce, men should have more right to a job than women, and the preschool child is likely to suffer if the mother works. Um, so we take all this uh, to our uh, reweighting uh, exercise, and we look at the same uh, the same graph uh, where where we have the incidence of differential treatment uh, and uh, the squares tell us uh, how this changed uh, after reweighting, uh, both for uh, socioeconomic factors and for norms. And actually, uh, there are some interesting uh, results here. Um, looking at Armenia and, and men in Armenia, we can see that the incidence goes up. But actually, what we find, and this is kind of an, an interesting and puzzling result, uh, Still, I do not have an answer to that, is uh, that for women in Armenia, uh, the incident goes down, incidence goes down, it actually uh, goes even below the, the, the initial level. Um, that might be due to some technical issues related to, to entropy balancing that we, that we use in the exercise, but we, we will look uh, into it. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so uh, just to, to put that into, into the context of the, the global databases uh, that I've shown you at, at the beginning. Um, um, so uh, differential treatment, uh, as reported in the Froggy survey, uh, follows the, the similar trends to, to uh, incidents of IPV reported uh, by WHO and UN Women. Um, what we do is we try to uh, kind of correct it, um, adjust it uh, using uh, socioeconomic conditions and, uh, uh, and cultural norms. Uh, we adjust it to, to these two, to, to Swedish conditions, and, and we see uh, that the gap uh, is slightly uh, smaller, but still I mean, in all the countries, the incidence goes up but uh, uh, to a different degree so there is some country variation here and just some uh, general conclusion um, so we do find uh, that there, there is an effect uh, of uh, social conditions and cultural norms um, and so what is perceived as uh, gender-based uh, uh, differential treatment, but there are uh, strong uh, country differences. Um, and uh, it is uh, a suggestion for, uh, for adjusting uh, uh, the, 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 the lower, the, the uh, underreported levels of differential treatment. Uh, this is uh, one of the methods that we can uh, actually suggest. Uh, so adjusting for socioeconomic factors and uh, cultural norms. Um, that's basically everything. I think I can give floor to Maria. And um, 
I really hope for, for your comments, but uh, afterwards. Uh, after my